as i have told you uh, it will be going to be a long day today i without uh, making uh, any delays i would uh, request dr manikanta pupudi who has joined in uh, tnau and 2004 he is an biotechnology specialist uh, in protein extraction so he will be dealing about marvelous proteins in moringa sir i am unmuting you sir yeah can you hear me yes sir yes sir sorry for right. the delay sir uh, yeah yeah it's it is okay. over to you sir now sir. yeah right thank you i, I, I uh, me to uh, have yeah. <clears throat> a request to you all uh, to bear with me because of our uh, internet uh, failure at tnau as well as in wadavalli area i just some, somehow uh, managed to join here with my uh, mobile and other uh, connections so now let me share directly the slides is it visible to you everyone uh, yes sir yes sir right okay so the uh, four days you have seen uh, what is the current status of the moringa products and their uh, potentials what you are going to see in the subsequent half an hour is what will be the future of the moringa so which kind of product they will be focusing and uh, what is the market potential it may have so those will be discussed in this uh, particular presentation so uh, first part of my presentation will be focused on the protein that are uh, rich or that are present in the moringa that's why we call it as marvelous moringa protein and these proteins are the one which are essential for our daily life uh, you know starting from our digestion of the whatever food that we had so these proteins have the lot yeah, many numbers of uh, roles in our day to day life starting from this as i said starting from the digestion even just to support our normal uh, movement Uh, with physical movement as well as uh, in this uh, pandem pandemic area thanks to our immune system that is again made up of protein which are the one that act as a support for this uh, heavy uh, incidence of the covid-19 and so on besides that it has several other works in simple terms what we can uh, uh, describe about about the protein is proteins are the workers of our body system without protein we cannot have any work in our life system okay the next question comes what is these proteins so these proteins are just like uh, words if you just uh, look i have a analogy of how it looks like it is just like a words that are present in a good book say for example bible there are one lakh words so there will be one lakh proteins in our bodies are more than that so each proteins are made up of different building blocks like each word in bible is made up of different uh, letters like 26 alphabets in case of if it is written in a english language so the same way like 26 alphabets proteins are also made up of 20 different building blocks we call that building block as a amino acids right so what is this amino acids these are the one which really makes the protein for easy understanding and we for get a very good deep learning on how these amino acids makes millions or lakhs of protein they are divided into different groups but i am not getting into details of that what i want to focus you all is the dotted line so those circles that are mentioned in the dotted line which will be uh, amounted to nine so these nine amino acids are called as essential amino acids that means our body can synthesize some of the amino acids that are in a very complete circle noted in the complete circle whereas some of the amino acids cannot be synthesized by our body i mean to say so these amino acids has to be uh, supplied artificially so where do we get these amino acids actually from the foods right so when we have a food that are rich in protein especially those essential amino acids so that will be the building block for our all the day to day activity right so the point which i want to stress in this slides 
is those uh, dotted lines or circle line so which we call it as essential amino acid especially these two are the most important one which we call it as sulfur containing amino acids and most important one is the methionine so methionine is called a, one of the sulfur containing amino acid which is a starting point right so whatever protein human is synthesizing this amino acid uh, methionine is the starting point only after methionine all other amino acids will be arranged so that's why it is the most important one and but uh, human being cannot synthesize the methionine we have to get it from our food so when you don't have enough amino acid of essential kind then we will get all kinds of the problems we not we won't get a proper digestion we won't get our immunity we will get uh, several uh, disease uh, disease susceptibility and so on even we cannot move it so the immediate uh, uh, effect or sign of the protein deficiency is tiredness bloating that means uh, we we won't find the comfortable in our stomach and we will be frequently exposed to the injuries and more frequently we uh, recognize the hair losses so in such cases if you go and uh, visit a, a physician what he will suggest or prescribe just go for a protein uh, supplements right so there is a large variants of the protein supplements that are available made from the way to Uh, some of them are uh, branded as arnold or monster and so on the main problem is it is not affordable so we need to spend much uh, money to get that kind of proteins to regain what we lost and again uh, so now the health conscious people are very much afraid of the addition of preservatives and other artificial supplements so obviously so instead of going to the doctor or even sometimes doctor suggest go for natural food supplements so the obviously the natural food supplements is the uh, meat products as well as as well as the milk products again some of the vegetarians are not uh, uh, fond of the animal proteins they are looking for some vegetable proteins so the vegetable proteins comes under this category of almonds avocado spinach and other peas again they are also costly so you know how much the almond cost in the market so we need a very simple affordable protein sources which gives all the essential amino acids but with a very low cost so here comes the role of moringa so it is the one which gives which can be grow even in your backyard so we are focusing every home should have a moringa in their uh, backyard or balcony and uh, you need not bother about their uh, uh, input requirement because they are the one which minimum required for their establishment either it is a water or fertilizer it doesn't matter the it require a minimum require minimum uh, inputs and the same way the storage is as we have seen in the last uh, five or six presentation storage is very easy just you can dilute to 8 to 10% of moisture content and store it in a air tight container that are available in our household and the preparation of the food is also very simple just sprinkle on whatever this you make it even a soup tea or idli whatever it may be you just sprinkle the powder that's enough so that's why we pro we propose moringa as a affordable simple source to benefit our uh, protein enrichment right so why what is the science behind this the main reason behind this is it contains all the essential amino acids our uh, very uh, res uh, earlier as well as the recent uh, ex establishment is that it contains all the essential amino acids all the nine essential amino acids that daily required for our Uh, human body especially the methionine is the one which is very rich which uh, which may cater up to 25% of our daily requirement so just have a moringa of one or uh, said 2 to 4 grams as we discussed in the previous uh, uh, speaker so that is sufficient enough to take care of the uh, our daily requirement right so besides 
it contains all other uh, amino acids also none of the plant products available in the uh, market is having all these amino acids all the 20 amino acids are not present in a sufficient quantity in any one of the plant product except moringa so that's why we propose moringa as a protein power bank so you need it is just like our uh, power bank what we use for our uh, mobile phone whenever we need urgently then we use it right so the same way whenever we feel those uh, symptoms or deficiency symptoms of hair loss or tiredness and so on just have a drink of it so just we can make so instead of making it as a leaf powder or which may be which may not be required or which may not be preferred by children or uh, the other uh, adults so we want to focus the protein alone mm -hmm. isolate the protein from the moringa leaf or uh, whatever it may be the product then use it as a uh, food supplement right i will come to this point how to make the protein as a food supplement in the subsequent slide so now my focus will be on how to get those moringas uh, protein and why we are very much interested so the very first and there are so many scientific uh, support for using moringa as our product moringa protein as our product the that has been already published in a recent one so the major uh, focus is on their digestibility so all our in, in vitro digestibility studies have shown that we can have digestibility of up to 89 percent that means nothing can be uh, comparable with uh, respect to this particular protein so whatever protein available protein uh, supplements that are available in the market is not having this much amount of digestibility uh, right so that's why we focus on this moringa protein and then uh, the next question comes from which part of the moringa we can isolate the protein of course you know proteins are omni omnipresent it can it present everywhere in the moringa plant depending on the how much quantity you are required so you can uh, select the plant parts either you can select the leaf uh, flower or seed or the seed cake whatever it may be but if you are focusing on the marketing or if it is local use or home use you can see any one of the thing but uh, if you are uh, interested in marketing or in uh, industrial purpose the first preferred product is the, this one right because it is highly dried and highly concentrated one the, after extracting the leaf uh, the oil from the seed then only we get the uh, seed cake right so that's why they are rich in protein so the next preferable uh, part of the plant which required for marketing which has a marketing potential is the leaf so this can be again a large quantity we can get so we can isolate it so the next subsequent question if you have identified the plant part then how to isolate it so there are so many procedures that are available scientifically starting from the age old salting out to the organic host solvent precipitation but what we have developed is a edible protein procedure so that we referred as green extraction procedure so in such a way that we isolate the procedure and enrich it and it will not affect our daily uh, digestive systems as well as the other problems health related problems so we have established that procedure and uh, we are still in uh, getting some uh, uh, enrichment uh, procedure getting involved in this particular uh, downstreaming applications so once it is ready then we will be uh, showcasing this procedure to everyone then uh, the another requirement uh, in addition to the procedure is the high infrastructure facility uh, as we have said nowadays uh, all the health conscious people are uh, very much particular about the production so they need very very high quality premium quality sops standard operating procedure so we need some automated uh, uh, equipments which are very costly but once it is invested definitely it is going to be having a very good impact in the future 
So this kind of things, everything will be automated starting from the extraction procedure to the packing so that it will be very easy for that. And then including the packing also, everything will be automated and storage. So the storage also we are standardizing something which is very affordable, but at the same time it can be stored for very long as well, minimum of one year storage because some of the people used to come uh, one once in a year for the uh, for their hometown so you, during that time they used to buy some uh, product from uh, indian product or something like that so uh, uh, during those uh, uh, purchase we can focus for one year uh, self life packing so this is these kind of things are uh, standardized keeping in the mind that in the uh, future it has a very huge market demand. So far, the protein uh, market is majority of the protein market is set by the uh, soya bean, soya protein, right? So 63% is uh, co complemented by the uh, soya protein. But the problem is now people are uh, uh, complaining that the soya proteins are having some uh, long term health, in health effects, right? So they, to avoid such thing, they are looking for alternatives. And slowly Moringa picking up, especially Moringa proteins are picking up to uh, replace the major share uh, said by the soya protein, right? So that's why we uh, focus the how to enrich the Moringa protein, how to enrich their isolation and how to pack them and in a, such a way that it gives high remuneration to the entrepreneur. So this is the, uh, our hypothesis. So towards this, what we do at uh, TNAU Coimbatore, uh, especially at the Biotechnology Center, uh, first thing is, as I said, we are standardizing uh, several numbers of protocols which are green. I mean to say they are acceptable and uh, which, uh, which, can be, which can be used to efficient uh, utilization as a food supplement. And the uh, second one is more scientific one. So, so far there is no such proteomic studies. What are the proteins that are expressed in the Moringa? Uh, you know, Moringa is, as I said uh, in the very previous slides, Moringa is a hardy crop. So, when, you, when I say hardy crop, it can withstand water, it can withstand any hot climate and so hot, uh, hot climate and so on. So, if that is the case, then it should be uh, imported by the certain proteins. So we don't know what are those proteins. So once you know a complete characterization of such proteins, then it will be useful for our uh, further uh, other crop improvement, right? Yes, sir. Just a second. Right? Okay. Uh, so how to improve, uh, once you have isolate the protein, then how to uh, uh, give to the end users right so that will be the next question so we just plan a very pellet farm uh, pellet farm or powder farm in such a way that all the even a uh, small uh, infrastructure facilities available who group can replace this like uh, the self-help group so they we can uh, powder them and then they can uh, get it very easily and then uh, the animal we can uh, enrich with animal feed so that uh, the milk itself is enriched with more protein and so on. The productivity and quality can be increased. So these are our uh, new methods or new strategies by that we can uh, enrich the foods that are usually available in the market. So besides that, we also uh, involved in the plant tissue culture. And the main reason for uh, getting into the plant tissue culture is Nowadays, uh, we, uh, it is very difficult to get seeds, the two authenticated seeds of the Moringa. So we get so many, so we get so many uh, uh, adulteration in the seed uh, that we obtain from the market. So to avoid such uh, things, uh, getting a true to type uh, plants is possible using the plant tissue culture. So we have uh, developed several advanced tools and strategies that produce not a single amount. So we can produce lakhs of plants within a very short uh, space or short time and with less space. And the, the procedure has been uh, very much uh, standardized for this. So just a small part of the plant, that is a Moringa, say for example, PKM1 variety, small part is taken out 
and it is grown under aseptic and uh, artificial condition uh, so that it will give multiple shoots and at the end we will get large numbers of plantlets from a small pot that is less than 2.5 cm of the plant pot is sufficient enough more than five plants to produce more than five plants so we are trying to ma maximize to eight plants per nodal segments that means from a small pot this when you are when able to produce eight plants that will be a huge success uh, in the industry so the next focus will be how to uh, increase the production capacity of the proteins using suspension culture so this is also an offshoot of the plantation culture so this is also we are standardizing to enrich the protein and uh, the third one is third major application is the uh, we have done the dna barcoding so this is very much useful for the persons who are having export and who want to ensure their authenticity of the moringa product so you know whenever we have a demand then uh, uh, obviously there is a adulteration so moringa leaf powder is uh, mixed with the some other leaf powder how to ensure or how to identify that so for that we use the uh, dna barcoding uh, technology so this strategy is uh, not a new it is already available in our market so the barcode like appearance you might have seen in all our uh, products as a price tag so this gives a numbers the same way we are using dna of the plant it is already established in several organisms fish products and other things but the same way we introduced this technology in the moringa uh, exports so we have developed a tkm1 body right even if the product tkm1 leaf Uh, yes, mixed with some other uh, leaf material that can as also be identified using this PKM1 uh, barcodes. So this is the another applications or another uh, major uh, uh, milestone at our laboratory. The third, my uh, the fourth milestone at our laboratory is the genome sequencing, which is a uh, one which help you to understand the blueprint of moringa. So it is just like our home uh, blueprint. so you know when to where, where to enter uh, where to go where to keep your car where to cook and how to store all these things so everything is a uh, yeah, programmed manner you uh, you can get it from the blueprint of our house so the same way we get the blueprint of the moringa which we call it as a genome right genome is the blueprint of the uh, moringa so if you know the genome sequencing we know when the plant will flower when it give the pod and then how much pod it can give so whether we can increase or decrease the pod production and so on so everything we can control it if you know the genome sequencing so we entered into this great work and we compared the same work that has been done all over the world especially Uh, at four places this particular work is being done we compared it and then we could uh, able to identify there are very special uh, genes or the proteins that are involved in our pkm1 compared to several other uh, uh, lines so this help us to improve our validity authenticity it is just like uh, uh, srivalli patur palkova got ga tag so the same way we can claim pkm1 variety is having a unique property because it is enriched with several useful desirable genes compared to the existing uh, moringa lines elsewhere in the world so this is the most important striking point or milestone in our uh, futuristic study so besides it will also this kind of information will also help us to develop a yeah, new lines of course this will be a decade old uh, uh, experiment so this will help us to identify a new moringa uh, line uh, like pkm1 we can develop a new one because pkm1 is developed some two decades before so the same way we will uh, if you work in this genomics line we will get a protein enriched moringa line a leaf biomass line a increased oil content line so far uh, we are using the same pkm1 for protein isolation 
leaf uh, biomass production as well as oil content. So for each and every characters, we can develop a line. So if this is possible, this can be possible using a new strategy called metagenesis. Of course, this is not a new one, it is a very edge world one, but we newly introduced into the Moringa. So we just uh, treat the seeds with the uh, mutagens, either it is a physical or a chemical mutagen. So we will get a large collections of the mutated lines from which the desirable one. If I look for the bigger leaf, high leaf biomass, so those leaves only we will select like this. So some of them will be very poor uh, leaf fielder. Some of them are very rich leaf fielder. So if you select this line and then uh, propagate further and release it into a new variety, then we will uh, get a new form, right? Uh, like uh, PKM1. So this will can also be used as a variety that are specifically breed for the leaf products, right? Uh, still, uh, we need to overcome several uh, limitations. Uh, so though I can explain everything in a simple uh, four or five slides, we cannot address several uh, uh, problems like how to break the linkage between desirable and undesirable uh, traits. Say for example, when I look for a line that rich in high protein, then automatically they are having a lower calcium. You know, Moringa is the one which is having a four times higher calcium than the banana. But when you look for the higher protein line, then the calcium level will be reduced. So this uh, breaking the undesirable uh, linkage is a major uh, problem for us. So which hinders our progress. The next one is the protein is unstable. So if you grow in a sad, sad place, then it has a one kind of protein enrichment. If they are uh, continuously irrigated, like other agronomic practices, then they are having different kinds of protein enrichment. So how to avoid or how to improve such kind of impacts of both environment as well as agronomic practices is the next uh, uh, short, uh, short, shortcomings that affect our uh, progress. The third and most important one is the sustainability and bioavailability of the nutrients. So we, not only we are focusing on the bioavailability, bio that is the in vitro digestion, but we need to uh, focus on their long run, how, how much time they can be stored. So that is the next uh, major uh, objective that we have. And then uh, the last one is the last problem that we frequently faced is the edibility and uh, anti-nutritional factors that affect our progress. Say for example, uh, the glucosinate is the major component of the Moringa that are responsible for the anti-cancer. But that is the one that imparts the bitter taste. So we need to have a glucosinate, but at the same time, it should not give you a better taste. So this, for that, we are looking for derivatives of the glucosinolate, which ensure the anti-cancer activity, but at the same time, it won't produce any better taste. So the same way, a problem that we frequently express, uh, we experienced in the tomato. When you eat more and more tomato, then you will get some uh, uh, yellow, yellow bit. That means you get some uh, problems in your stomach. So that is mainly because of the oxalate, calcium oxalate that, is, that are present in the tomato. So the same way, uh, the calcium, nearly 36% of the calcium in Moringa is present in the form of calcium oxalate. So the, when you consume this kind of calcium oxalate in a higher uh, uh, rate, then there is a possibility of producing kidney stones because Almost all the 80% of the kidney stones are made up of calcium oxalate, right? So how to avoid such things? So instead of uh, uh, calcium oxalate, we need to convert, you need to make the Moringa into a one which can synthesize calcium with other salt instead of calcium oxalate. So these are our uh, next focus. So all these things, uh, are our future focus and we are uh, trying to exploring those things and hope within uh, whatever I have told is not available for current generation. Maybe your uh, next generation will realize the potential 
as we realize the potential of uh, PKM1 that has been uh, generated some uh, two decades before by the previous generation scientist, right? With this, I limit my presentation and I end up with saying thank you to all and uh, love to answer all your uh, questions. Thank you, sir. Thank you for your uh, yeah. brief and you know uh, crisp presentation, which covers all the aspects of Moringa. So, those who want to uh, ask questions, you can uh, raise your hands. Uh, kindly don't put it in the chat section, sir. One question we have already uh, received was: uh, so, how uh, can we compare the protein of Moringa with the protein of food legumes like uh, mung bean, ur bean, pigeon pea, chickpea? You know? Yeah, so we have uh, several uh, uh, procedures and strategies to compare it. One such thing is uh, simple SDS page, and then uh, we have 2D gel electrophoresis. Can you hear me? 2D gel electrophoresis. Sir, your face, and, is, not uh, your face is not visible properly. Yes. Okay. yes, sir. Now it's okay now. Yes. And uh, the, uh, the recent one is uh, MS, uh, Maldit of MS. So that is a recent addition of uh, large scale protein characterization between so many numbers of samples, not uh, between two samples, among different samples. Right? So that can also be possible with the MS mass spectrometry. So this is a recent addition. And getting uh, to the MS based analysis, then it will be too scientific. So uh, I can share uh, literatures if they're really interested. And uh, my email IDs and phone, phone numbers will be shared soon by uh, Mr. Vasant. You can contact me personally. I have already shared your uh, email ID to them, sir. Yes. Uh, if you, yes sir. So if you want any more studies uh, for any articles, kindly contact, sir. Uh, I'll, I'm admitting Mr. Saundaraj and Loganadan. Yes, sir. Yes, uh, good evening, uh, Bhagavati, sir. Uh, it was a fabulous, informative uh, session, sir. I've just got a uh, fast question to you, sir. Uh, when it comes to uh, the biotechnology way of uh, getting the, uh, what is the crop done, sir, uh, compared to the seed cost, uh, what will be the cost of uh, the way that you manufacture the crop, sir? So we plan to uh, sell at a rate of 20 rupees per plant. Uh, you know, in the market rate of plants that you get from the private uh, nurseries, it will be around 45 rupees per plant, which is one, one feet high plant that are having three uh, carbon leaves. Right? It costs around 45 rupees. But we plan to sell at a rate of 20 rupees at our lab gate. We don't uh, uh, bear with the transport, but we, we can sell it as a 20 rupees at the lab. Did I answer? So, Tej, I have unmuted you, yes. Hello? Yes, please. I, I think, Good evening, sir. Uh, sir, I need to ask you one thing from your slide. As you mentioned earlier uh, in the starting that uh, protein powders are being made uh, like that whey protein and uh, optimum nutrition. What do you think, sir, ki, uh, like Moringa would Moringa protein would be able to make those type of products because 30 grams of uh, protein, they assured that ki it is having 30 gram of protein or 25 gram of protein in it if we will consume it and uh, would you would it be able to comparable to that moringa protein and uh, it will uh, like give a proper thing to bodybuilders because those exactly. things are much more popular in bodybuilding and all exactly. i got your point so that is the main idea of replacing those uh, proteins that are uh, used at the, at the gym gate right uh, so, for example, uh, the whey proteins are having the same kind of uh, proteins that are present in the soya bean. And my first few slides focused on what is the difference between soya bean and your moringa protein. Right? The main difference is their essential amino acids, especially methionine, 
which we call it a sulfur containing amino acid which is nil in soya bean you know that uh, whey protein or whatever uh, the protein that are available in the market they supplement that methionine separately amino acid separately but we made it in a tree we made it from moringa uh, and then we put it in the uh, product so it is somehow uh, superior than whatever available in the market so the, the proteins that we plan is having all the essential amino acids all the nine essential amino acids so it is superior than the whatever available in our uh, cells fine sir i am unmuting again sandarraj and lokanathan uh... Sir, have your uh, question been answered by you? Oh yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's fine. Yeah. Right. Fine. 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 Uh, uh, Vasudev, I think I have uh, uh, sir. Yes, sir. Having question. Sir, yes, 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 sir. Sir, on the phone, sir. Right. Sir, audio. Yes, sir. Yes. Okay. Good evening. Good evening, doctor. Hi. Good evening. Ah. Uh. I love to uh, see your presentation. Really fantastic presentation. Really a mind-opening presentation. Of course, you know very well. Yes, I'm here from you. <laughs> Thank you. Sir, so actually, really, I I got some few uh, new information from your thing. As you know well, Miracle Tree is already working in protein isolation from seed cake because we produce large quantity of moringa oil every month. We produce more than 600 k liters of uh, moringa oil. Very minimal. Not less than by 600 liters we produce. So we have a huge quantity of oil cake. Presently we use the oil cake for many different purposes. And last year, from last year we have started working isolation, protein isolation using uh, uh, CO2 extractions and uh, alkalic extractions also. But really fantastic that you have made a new different approach. So is there any opportunity or any possibility is that is university can give a technology rights to Company like Miracle Tree to produce such a thing. We will, if we go yes, for it. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we have, we have already sent a mail to our Miracle Tree, and then we have replied. I guess enough. You are. Yes, sir. We have replied. Are you getting technology uh, transfer? Is there any possibility, sir? Yeah, it, it's possible, sir. First, we need to establish that technology with your Moringa cake, whatever you have. So I have asked some uh, samples, and then uh, if they have uh, assumed some five pages of samples, will be supplied uh, to do the analysis. So once we can, our procedure is uh, working well with your uh, oil cake, then definitely we can share the technology via our ABD, uh, Agri Business uh, Development Center, where you have already member of that uh, center. So there won't be any uh, problem. If you want more cake, I can send it. Your uh, product. Do you do you do you require more oil cake, sir? Shall I send some another another hundred kg also for you? Will it helpful for you? Oil cake for initial attempt to five kg is enough. Later we will proceed to five hundred kg. Okay, so should I send the protein isolated from our method, like using algalic extraction and supercritical extraction? We have some yeah. protein isolated. Should I send the samples also to you? Compare the across the methodology. Which one is best? So which one is rich in all the amino acids that yeah. we target? So that will be a very good uh, uh, strategy. So will university will give a preference for Miracle Tree to have a joint venture, sir? Always, you are the first preference. You know very well. Uh, you all our Moringa conferences is focused with you uh, first, and then only we do to others. Really, we are really we are passion of moringa because when we make a protein isolation from this oil cake, we can give a very very comfortable price to the market. Even uh, even of course we can give an option to the uh, government schools children for malnutrition and we protein as insufficient. So we can give this protein in a very better way, in a very very yes. affordable way. That's my that's my intention. So instead of throwing the oil cake in a different way, we can convert into protein and we can pack it. In the right way, and we can give a product to the middle school peoples. So exactly. I request university to support us. So, uh, the main uh, the main reason we got this uh, project in the PhD is my proposal of uh, supplementing the moringa protein with moon system 
of the government. So that's why they have uh, very much interested on this uh, folks, and they were uh, asking me how much time I need. I said that uh, it has taken some five to six years to complete it. So still we are in the process. So when I join with you guys, then uh, definitely we will get it much smoother. Okay. So I required I request my another request is that if you after sparing the after making the protein isolation and everything. If you get time, please do some research in the Moringa root also, sir. I think there is some, some magic is there in the Moringa root. We yeah, couldn't identify the full thing, but uh, you you are the best person, you are the right person to identify the magic of uh, Moringa roots. Please do some research in Moringa roots also. Sir. I decided, sir. I already decided the remaining of my lifetime will be. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Venkatram, I am unmuting you. Yes. And there is one more uh, person. Gauris Margul is also raising the hand. Yes, sir. Mr. Venkatram. Yes. Good evening, sir. Yes. Thank, yeah, evening. thank you for the presentation, sir. It was very nice, sir. Since I am an agri graduate, I want to know whether we have mm -hmm. any training for uh, setting up tissue culture. Since uh, you are giving farmers uh, competitive uh, nursery seedlings, uh, tissue culture seedlings to the farmers. And do I have get uh, any subsidies for setting up the uh, uh, tissue culture labs? Regarding that, I need so. Thank you. Uh, we can uh, provide you training, but uh, for subsidy arrangements and all, we uh, are not the right person. Our team is not the right person. So maybe we will direct you the exact persons who are involved in the uh, subsidy project development and so on. Including EDA, PhD, EDA, PhD, also we can arrange it. But technical training, I can assure you, uh, whenever you want to have, we will provide it. Fine, sir. Thank you, Mr. Danasilan. I am unmuting you. Mr. Danasilan. Hello. Yes, please. Sir, is there any course to learn basics of agriculture in university? Sir, short term certificate course or uh, one month, two months course? Course, sir, he is asking. Course in agriculture. Uh, we don't uh, plan any, any such thing, but uh, we have uh, applied one project to state as well as uh, central government. But for, that is mainly focused on uh, DNA fingerprinting, not in the uh, area of plant culture. Uh, maybe if you are interested, one or two is interested, then we can uh, uh, approach our university and then we can arrange. We just make a request on the chat box. Using this uh, request, I will uh, proceed and then get back to you. Fine, sir. Thank you. Okay. Dr. Kamalakanan, I am unmuting. Dr. Kamalakanan, I have unmuted you. You can unmute and speak. Yes, sir, we noticed that Gauri is We noticed with Hello, Mr. Kamalakanan? Unmute, sir. Uh, am I audible? Yes, please. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, I am Associate Professor Kamalakaran working in Annamalai University. Um, <coughs> I thank all the organizers for uh, organizing this nice webinar. I have got more information from this. I request, Vasanam sir, I request uh, you please unmute doc Dr. Uh, Garish Vagle. Uh, he is raising yeah, yeah. the hand. We, we not, uh, noted. We noted. Uh, uh, thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. No, uh, I am not seeing any hand raising. What is the name, sir? Uh, Dr. Gaurish Vagle. Dr. Gaurish Vagle. You will see in the video section. Gallery. I am seeing in the participants. Uh, participant. Uh, video participant gallery. By name Gaurish Vagle. G-O? 
GAU GAU okay R-I-S. right i'll unmute him i'll unmute him sir okay ha right he doesn't know raise the handing okay. thank you sir you just uh, uh, dr gaurav is just unmute you have to unmute your uh, sister uh good evening sir uh, good evening dr bhupati uh, thank you very much for your wonderful presentation i am gaurish vagle from goa uh, i would uh, would like to know that uh, you know in these covid times where they say that uh, you know your uh, um, immunity or your immune system has to be good what are the products of moringa that you would advise either in the powder form or uh, fresh leaf form or, uh, or whatever now i am particularly asking you this question from the point of view of orac orac is nothing but uh, oxygen radical absorption capacity now the higher uh, orac values uh, translates into better oxygen carrying capacity of both the blood and the lungs now in future they say with no cure or rather you know nobody knows when the cure for covid will be found but in future they say that uh, survival of uh, mankind is uh, very much dependent on will eventually translate into uh, dependence on one's immune system how and uh, would you how would you uh, which are the products in the first place and how if they are not uh, uh, you know thought about uh, can can this be over so you know, yeah thank you uh, immediately after this uh, importance of product has been uh, noticed then they tested all the moringa products and invariably all the moringa products starting with uh, leaf dried leaf powder and uh, powdered flower all are having more than 1 lakh units so their uh, immunity uh, importance in all the products so what you can have whatever is palatable to you whatever is comfortable to you we can have it so either you just simply have your moringa uh, pod in your uh, daily dishes or a moringa leaf as a soup or a, as a main uh, green uh, vegetables you can have everything all are having the uh, immune boosters you know there is uh, our study uh, one of the study which i focused genomic study have shown that moringa leaf are weak in a one particular uh, terpenoid called naringenin naringenin is the one directly related to all our immune system starting from the primary secondary and tertiary immune system uh, i mean uh, more precisely the thymus spleen but outer uh, skin everything is got induced or everything got involved in the immune uh, expression when this naringenin is uh, directed so whenever the people are affected with particular disease or uh, suffer a thing what they used to do the physician they first try with a naringenin dose so the naringenin dose is the first uh, attempt they used to give and that is the kind of naturally present in the moringa not only in the leaf everywhere in the moringa part naringenin complete that we have practiced and we are now trying to make it induce or decrease so it, it is a scientific process so that whenever we develop a variety we try to ensure that the naringenin is expressed so it is not avoided due to some undesirable inputs that i have explained in the last slide which is a very tricky part in moringa breeding so when we put some best traits in the moringa development we may lose some other uh, desirable traits so to avoid that we first focus on the naringenin because it is mainly involved in the immune booster system so there is a saying uh, some uh, 400 or uh, 450 years old uh, saying in tamil if you take moringa you will not get nearly 300 diseases so that's a uh, uh, It, it is not the scientific. It is uh, uh, they have said it based on the experience. It is more than two uh, thousand years old consumption that are available. So we cannot uh, expect any side effects. Definitely, I advise you to take any part of the moringa 
these are comfortable to you because i i prefer only the moringa flower rather than the greeny leaf or pod of course pod if it is in summer i would love to have but instead of green leaf i prefer the flower so likewise whatever is comfortable to you you can have it right? thank you very much sir for answering my question uh, yes. thank you no, yes. thank you sir thank you very much yeah. so uh, if there is no more question we can uh, uh, come to we have come to the end of this session uh, thank you very much sir for this wonderful session uh, so i i have already posted a, a question form uh, so kindly uh, mr jawahar chandrasekhar i am will kindly raise your hands so those who want to uh, we will have to finish because it's already 5:50 now uh, yes yes, sir. yes. hello Yes, Mr. Jawar. Yes, please. Yes, sir. Uh, uh, Dr. Bhupati, it was a great presentation from your side. Uh, sir, I am a, a young Thank entrepreneur you. who is trying to see uh, best aspects in Moringa as a business. Uh, if I am planning to set up a manufacturing unit of Moringa products, uh, I definitely understand that we need to have a team who has to do a scientific or you know a study, uh, have a scientific study of the product. uh so a yeah. uh, 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 fresh uh, entrepreneur like me how do i make myself equipped with such things or is there any chance for me to educate myself uh, if i'm planning to you know if at least the basic product as a moringa powder if i have yeah. to go for a lab test or uh, before going to a lab test if i can understand that uh, you know this product is uh, you know uh, is eligible or it, it is it is got the better uh, quality to get uh, approved uh, is there any uh, training conducted from uh, tnau or is it like how do i do this sir? just please highlight me on this sir yeah i got your question so the main purpose of uh, starting up ph beef or abd is support such kind of activities so you can be a member of this ph leader ph beef or abd at uh, tnau and you can uh, of course you are the chairman sir so your vo voice is breaking sir it's not clear i didn't i didn't get clear it's not voice. clear Can you hear me now? Yes, yes, sir. Better, sir. Better. Can you repeat it, sir? It was not clear for me. Okay. So you just first step is you become a member of either PHB or ABD, right? No. I will. I will explain about that. Uh, okay. Jawar Chandra Sekar. Yes. Okay. Okay. Uh, you just contact the doctor, uh, sir, Mr. Rasandran. So he will explain you the things. Sure. So there is a possibility. So this is the one uh, I want to convey. Sure, sir. Thank you, sir. Fine, sir. A uh, lot of lot of people are asking for the contact numbers of Mr. Uh, Dr. Bhupati and uh, Sir Saravan. We have already shared the contact numbers, contact uh, email IDs of all the speakers in the WhatsApp group which we have formed. those who are not in the whatsapp group kindly send me a message we i will make you a member in that group so it is already there all the questions which you have answered for the past 3 days we have answered we will be sharing the day 4 feedback form uh, so that you know if you fill that up uh, it will be useful for us to give you your certificates within time uh, so kindly wait for that uh, kumaran sir we'll add you in that group sir yes so uh, so thanks a lot sir uh, for your wonderful presentation uh, before you go i i wish to uh, share something with you uh, one second so we have uh, launched a project called nanmurangai in the last uh, uh, last presentation that is you know in the last webinar series which happened in the last month so it is nothing but uh, so those who are all willing to associate with us for a long time right you want support from us you want support where to get all these things where to get the details everything so we uh, this incubation forum uh, basically uh, we we incubate uh, entrepreneurs that is you know we sh shortlist entrepreneurs who are having ideas so it is a membership uh, based one uh, 7500 rupees for 2 years support so in this we are having a project nanmurangai already 20 people have joined in this project from last webinar so from this webinar also we can take in some uh, 10 to 20 people uh, based on the details so we will be uh, uh, 
giving a google form today night in the whatsapp group so those who are interested uh, to start the ventures uh, moringa based ventures who are it is it is from any part of uh, india we can virtually support you uh, on cultivation aspects on value addition aspects on marketing aspects branding missionaries post harvest technology in whatever way it is so we are willing to support you virtually those who who can come over here and get a, uh, attend the training those who can come and attend so the google forms will be circulated so those who are interested to join us uh, to start your journey along with uh, our incubation forum can fill up the forms so initially uh, we will be taking a minimum number of uh, persons only so who are willing to start the business within 3 months or 3 to 6 months so uh, you can get a, uh, you can that's what uh, dr bhupadi was telling you can become a member of this forum so that you know you can have an idea uh, we will connect with you all the scientific people mentors and marketing mentors all the persons so this is what we are doing here so uh, the, the first part of the application forum uh, the application will be open till 4th september for this group and uh, who are the shortlisted candidates will be announced in 9th september so it is a paid membership once you are shortlisted we announce that you can pay the amount and you can fill the application form and become the member so we will form a mentor group for you uh, it will be a one to one on one discussion right you know every, each and every person we will form uh, different strategies because everyone will be different everyone's requirement will be different even though you join as group we will treat you as one so for uh, every individual we will form a strategy and we will support you so that is the uh, uh, concept of this project nanmurungi i just wish to uh, share with you all yes it, it is uh, training the freshers uh, or, no the incubation is uh, you know very even from andhra and karnataka we have members in the last batch so we can virtually uh, support you here so thanks a lot sir dr bhupadi for your wonderful presentation uh so uh, as usual uh, please continue to support us if you want to say a few words you can say and we can uh, close the session yes yeah, right uh, i have to thank you all uh, for being with me because of the internet connection and uh, it is a sudden happening uh, today so i cannot uh, control over it uh, anyway i am uh, i used to continue this uh, collaboration in the future also for all our uh, participants so whoever uh, wish to have a uh, uh, direct linkage you can uh, visit my website or tna website and then uh, you can uh, mail to me or dial to me the evening hours i am ready to uh, collaborate with you thank you anand fine sir thank you thank you a lot so our business thank you sir uh, our business manager have uh, given the feedback form for uh, day 4 uh, no the the form which we are giving here is not an uh, incubation forum support form it is a feedback form kindly fill up the feedback form the incubation forum uh, the project nanmurungai uh, google form will be circulated in the whatsapp group uh, by tonight before 7 730 so whoever wish to apply you can apply yes uh, it is for the beginners it is mainly for the beginners we are uh, planning to uh, and get a you know, new breed of farmers who cultivate according to the industry standard so we will be giving uh, technical support to you even in the cultivation uh, and then in the value addition even in the marketing end. so we are having a network sir it will be uh, circulated in the uh, whatsapp group sir if you want you can uh, message me uh, i will uh, send that form to you uh, anyone if you want so my number and uh, all our numbers are you kindly send a message to this number sir if you are not uh, already in the whatsapp group kindly send a message to this number to get you added in that group so that is my number so we'll get you added in that so uh, i would like to welcome our business manager who is behind the scenes to organize uh, this uh, webinar who and uh, i have another one person uh, mr jay prakash he is in our team so i wish to thank him so i would request um, our business manager mr arun uh, to give the vote of thanks i uh, good evening i uh, good evening to everyone 
I take this opportunity to deliver our vote of thanks. Uh, our foremost sincere thanks to Entrepreneurship Development Innovation Institute, Tamil Nadu, Chennai, and Directorate of Agribusiness Development, Tamil Nadu Agriculture University, Coimbatore, for permitting for permitting us to organize this webinar. And I thank Dr. T. R. Mugam, the Dean and Nodal Officer uh, of EDI PHBF, and Dr. C. Subhash Ranjit Kumar, uh, Coordinator of EDI Periculum Hardy Business Incubation Forum, for their tremendous support in organizing this uh, webinar. Uh, and once again, I thank Dr. T. R. Mugam for his session on the Moringa and overview. And I thank Dr. R. Balakumbhan for his uh, session on organic leaf production technologies in Moringa. And I thank Dr. P. Geeta Ranimam for his uh, session in seed production in Moringa. Uh, I thank the director of IAFPT for permitting Dr. Hema Vincent for uh, uh, participating in the session of Moringa leaf powder process and technology and quality standards. And I thank the director of National Dairy Development Board for permitting Dr. Digvijay Singh for the session on agronomy of Moringa of, as a powder crop. And I thank Mr. S. Muturaj, um, director SVM Exports to Green for his session on export opportunities of Moringa based products. Uh, and I thank uh, Mr. R. Sarana Kumaran, uh, founder and CEO of Miracle Tree. Uh, Life Science Madurai uh, for his session in uh, business opportunities in Moringa based products. And I thank the director of uh, CPMP, Tamil Nadu Agriculture University, Bangalore, for permitting Dr. N. Manigand and Bhuvadi sir for his session in uh, power proteins of um, marvelous in Moringa for this session. I thank you all, sir. And I thank all the directors, principal scientists, uh, faculties of, from National and State Institute. It's of KVKs, our uh, regional research stations from all over the states, former friends, entrepreneurs, students, and research scholars for participating in this webinar. Thank you all. Thank you. Yes. Thank you, Mr. Arun. That, that's it for the day. And uh, we have, uh, we, we have uh, given all the information as requested uh, during the webinar in the WhatsApp group. Uh, that is, you know, a lot of information on uh, study materials we have shared and DPRs we have shared as per your request and some of the missionaries. Missionaries, the only thing is we have given the missionaries which are available in Tamil Nadu, uh, the suppliers uh, list we have given. Uh, but uh, for your respective areas, kindly, uh, so we, we are in the process of getting that. Uh, so this, this is a new request uh, which has come to us. So. We didn't prepare for that. Uh, we'll we'll try to uh, collect all the information about you know, missionaries in uh, major areas and in other major states. Uh, so I hope uh, we have uh, answered all the questions except for uh, today's session. Until yesterday's questions, uh, which you have submitted in the form, we have answered and we have shared as a PDF format in the WhatsApp group. Hope it helps. So even if you have any uh, doubts in future, you can contact us. Uh, I think you have our uh, email ID and uh, website ediipkm at gmail.com. So our business manager is sharing our Facebook link. You can uh, follow us so that you know all our programs are regularly updated on that. So YouTube channel, uh, try to provide buyers of India that definitely have tried a lot sir, to provide that. Uh, I didn't get that in a full form. We'll try to give you, sir. The feedback form will be sent again in the chat section, sir. Feedback form is also shared in the WhatsApp group, sir. Yes, this is the feedback form. You can uh, fill up. So kindly expect the certificate uh, before uh, uh, Tuesday, sir. By Monday and Tuesday, and uh, two batches, we'll be sending the certificates who are participated. So if you want to travel with us uh, for a long time, kindly be in touch with us. Uh, so all the speakers are very cooperative and uh, you can reach them at any point of time uh, without uh, disturbing their uh, activities. Uh, you can give a message to them uh, whether they are free. That is uh, the best way to approach them, I think. I hope everyone, uh, we are all matured uh, guys, we will uh, do the same. Uh, and I, I hope definitely our speakers will respond to you positively. So this happened during the last session also. This is one month over. I hope that, you know, uh, I, I even somebody called me and told me they have approached uh, several of our speakers. 
uh, and they have responded positively. Right, so it's a privilege, uh, it's a honor to have you all in the stage. A uh, lot of uh, VIPs, VVIPs, and a lot of farmers, young uh, youngsters, entrepreneurs, uh, women entrepreneurs. Uh, uh, so you will be receiving your certificates in emails. Uh, in email, we are even inspired uh, by the participation of you. Uh, so we are inspired to do a lot of uh, programs like this in future. This is the first uh, national webinar for us. Till, till now, we have conducted only uh, webinars for Tamil Nadu. So this is an eye opener for us. We can even reach out to more people in India. Uh, as it is, you know, uh, Moringa based thing. So as PKM one is a, a national one and even a global one. So we wish to uh, take that privilege to conduct a webinar, uh, Pan, Pan India level. So we'll uh, try to uh, do more webinars like this uh, to Pan India level or national level. We have uh, conducted an ag tech webinar last uh, week. It is in English only. So we'll uh, share all the information in uh, so international webinar, uh, <laughs> even, be, even before we planned this, uh, it is already planned, sir. it is going to happen very soon. We will update you on that. International webinar on Moringa will be happening very soon, sir. Yes, sir, Mr. Sudansu Desai. Kindly let us know the prospects of the tamarinds also, sir. We will try. Yes, yeah, sir. Yeah, incubation membership, we will uh, share the form in uh, WhatsApp group, sir. Because if I uh, share so many forms, it will be confusing. Now, as of now, it is only uh, uh, Mr. Leopold, thanks for that. <laughs> as of now, it is only a feedback form. So let us not confuse. So after 7.30, we will be uh, sharing that. Uh, even we will share in uh, uh, email also. Mr. Leopold is saying it is already in an international level. Thank you for that. Thanks for your kind words, sir. We'll aim big, sir. We'll bring someone from outside also. We'll, we'll try to do that. It is in progress. Uh, the, that's why I'm telling you, mentioning you. It is in progress. Maybe it will be conducted uh, by the Department of Vegetables uh, in Horticulture College. So there are stalwarts in that. So they will be conducting a very good. Uh... Thank you, thank you, Mr. Leo. Sure. The same thing happened for this uh, webinar also, Mr. Leo. The last time, uh, the participants of last time, they have promoted this actually. September, I think we'll be having one more uh, webinar, sir. Kindly uh, watch our space in Facebook, sir. Mr. Premachandra, sir, we will definitely uh, try to cover that, sir. Even uh, our dean is also interested in doing uh, in avocado and breadfruit. We will do, sir. And we will, all your mobile numbers, all your uh, email IDs are with us. So whatever uh, webinar we are conducting in the future, which is in English, we will definitely contact you, sir. Mr. Himanshu Shah, you have told something. Is this enough? Yes, sir, that is enough, sir. You can get the support from the staffs in that, sir, because both are different incubation forums. Uh, I hope you are a member of a TBA in uh, Kaimatur. Am I right, sir? The, the, there are five incubation forums in Tamil Nadu, sir. Kaimatur, it is called a TBA. Uh, Trichy, it is called a Tabif, and Periculum, it is called a PH Beef, Party Business Incubation Forum. Kiliculum, it is called a Kabif, like that. So, everything will be managed differently. 
by different ceos but tna will be giving you support sir thank you mr jay kumar thank you from mizoram mr dr t wonal who oh, thank you sir thank you for this swasan ganikar thank you sir sorry uh, today you know it went uh, till 610 actually so I, i have told you i think initially it is going to be a long day so since you guys were asking for missionary someone from missionary i thought you know to bring uh, mr bijoy to this session we'll try a separate session for missionaries uh, as it is growing in a big area uh, it itself will be uh, no uh, it can be a topic for a webinar series itself so we can uh, try to uh, cover that as long as it is informative it is fine sir mr jay kumar thank you so that is our uh, idea to spread awareness to spread uh, uh, information so that you know lot of uh, moringa based entrepreneurs are coming out so who are uh, who are past participated here who are not in the whatsapp group kindly uh, send me a message if you don't have any whatsapp number if you are having only message kindly let me know i can send you the details in email thank you mr himanshu shah uh, he is a repeated audience i can say uh, he participated in the last webinar also thank you for uh, participating again i hope you gained uh, new information sir millets our uh, main focus is on uh, uh, horticulture based products and uh, masala products we will be doing masala products we are planning millets as of now we have not planned uh, no. but if you want you can send a message uh, some of the other incubation centers will be doing i will uh, give the details to you if you specifically want something about millets you can even follow iafpt they are regularly doing things on uh, millets no no sir it is a hearty based incubation center sir uh, right from uh, horticulture therapy dried fruits value addition uh, we are uh, into carbonated drinks all products not only moringa yes 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 we are covering all the products sir all the horticulture products vegetables fruits plantation crops aromatic crops medicinal plants you name it we can we can cover that stipali you can yourself ask in that group because i couldn't uh, spot anyone based on the states or something uh, so kindly ask in the group so that you know they will uh, come out and they will raise their hands covering in the sense value addition we are doing several uh, fruits sir uh, kindly write a mail to us uh, we'll uh, definitely share more things you can be directly in touch with uh, our dean also sir mr premachandra sir i am giving the mail id of our dean even you can send a mail to him also sir pleasure sir sir pleasure to serve you yes yes uh, kindly follow our uh, facebook page because we first post in facebook page whatever webinar we are going to conduct it is our mode of communication to the public kindly uh... sure sir we will try to keep the whatsapp group alive till it is productive last time also i was so hesitant to start the group and uh, it is still running with 160 members in the last uh, batch of webinar now it is around 250 members in this so we will try to maintain sir let us see how productive it is going because i cannot be a monitor and tell you know don't put this message that message the, we are all matured people 
so if it is a moringa based group we should uh, only share information on moringa not even sharing any webinar any such thing that was my idea so it is happening in that group let us see sir uh, we'll keep this alive till uh, minimum one week we'll keep this alive and see how it is going mr shrinivas though we'll uh, let you know uh, definitely if we do anything on medicinal plants as of now we didn't do any webinar we will definitely do that so that's what i am saying you kindly uh, follow the facebook page or you kindly save my number because those are all the two main communication i will put it in status or i will put it in uh, facebook yes telegram that's also i am planning uh, integrating both the groups let me try sir because i am new to telegram i am it is a totally new world i think I'm just learning it. I'm not so techno person. Fine, thank you, Mr. Shrinivas. So it will be. Uh, now we'll be not only by posting webinars uh, information. We'll be posting articles that based uh, uh, important information also in FB. So it will be useful for you guys. so it was wonderful having you all in this webinar series hope you all enjoyed and hope you all learned a new things a lot of new things even i have learned a lot of new things through this webinar fb page link is uh, given by your uh, business manager mr arun karnagaran in the chat section kindly see sir mr ashok das yes done sir we'll try sir i don't have anything against that sir only thing is you know it should be useful for uh, all of us and one more important disclaimer i want to say uh, i will also post it in website uh, sorry whatsapp group uh, whoever you are networking through this webinar whoever you are talking to whoever it may be uh, even it is a speaker or even it is another co participant it is up to you to decide on the things and uh, make a move or take a move so we are not responsible for your decisions i humbly put that to you so because there will be a lot of networking opportunities and kindly don't say that you know yeah through eda we have, we have got this person we have got that person i don't want to get into all those things and we as an organization we definitely don't want to get into all those things we we create we are creating a platform you are all mature guys you kindly select you kindly choose the persons you approach persons uh, you are uh, doing business with uh, based on your own decisions we are not recommending anyone we are not suggesting anyone it is a platform to help to give information to you so based on your own decision based on your own uh, uh, gut feel you kindly approach anyone fine sir if there is anything nothing else we can uh, call it a day so thanks for joining here uh, it was wonderful four days with you all so keep in touch in uh, whatsapp group or uh, separately in the whatsapp thank you all thank you bye take care during this times and have more moringa based product to uh, increase your immunity yes thank you thank you all bye bye